For the people who aren't interested in tiny toy-sized dogs, these dogs will tower over you. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button to become part of the DTR family and that little bell icon so that you are notified when we post new videos. Number 13, Anatolian Shepherd. The canine breed was originally bred as shepherd dogs, and interestingly, their owners always matched their colors with the livestock that they guarded. The Anatolian Shepherds can withstand harsh weathers and thrive in nomadic conditions. They are loyal and independent, which are valuable characteristics for their role as livestock herders. They require proper socialization training and are best kept as a pair. Lack of this training often makes them unmanageable with both strangers and also with their owner. Number 12, Caucasian Shepherd. Much like the Anatolian Shepherd, this breed's purpose is to herd and protect sheep. Their herding skills also extends to other livestock and they are quite popular in Georgia. They are also often referred to as Bashkin Perry, Mountain Dogs, Caucasian, Ovcharka Dogs, or Russian Bear Dogs. The strongly boned dogs are quite muscular and they are even tempered. Their big stature scares off wolves from attacking the flocks they are herding. They are also very territorial and are known to attack other Caucasian Shepherds if they sense a threat. Their aggressive tendencies don't make them the best choice for first-time dog owners, apartment living, or a home with kids. However, with proper socialization training, there isn't a reason why they can't make excellent family dogs. 11. Neapolitan Mastiff The Mastiffs are amongst the largest dog breeds because of their sheer mass. The Neapolitan originated from southern Italy, and it served primarily as a guard dog. A male Mastiff stands between 26 to 31 inches tall on average and weighs in at a hefty 130 to 155 pounds. The females are smaller and stand in at a few inches shorter, weighing between 110 to 130 pounds. Neapolitan Mastiffs are known for their fearlessness and protective nature. They are excellent guard dogs, but not the best at sounding alarms. The breed is relatively quiet, and their mode of attack is to sneak up on intruders without barking as a warning. They are also best for families who are familiar with the dog training techniques because they require extensive socialization training time. One famous Neapolitan Mastiff was originally called Chisamson. He weighed 225 pounds when he was just two and a half years old, making it the largest of the breed. Samson could easily fetch a small car tire and carry it around. A big thank you to all you guys who leave us comments. For today's video, we are giving a shout out to Freya the Ghoul. Number 10, Scottish Deerhound. The Scottish Deerhound is a courser and originates from Scotland. The breed once served as deer hunters and their long legs made it easy to chase down their prey. They are heavier and larger than greyhounds, but they have a similar lanky build which gives them speed. They can stand as tall as 32 inches and weigh about 110 pounds. Their role as deer hunters is long left in the past, but enthusiasts still keep the dogs for show or lure coursing. 9. St. Bernard St. Bernard is native to northern Italy and the Swiss Alps where it serves as a rescue dog. The St. Bernard hospice monks are often credited for training these dogs for rescue missions and developing the dog as we know it today. St. Bernards can stand as between 25 to 30 inches tall and tip the scales anywhere from 140 to 180 pounds. Originally, these dogs were tasked with finding and rescuing travelers, but today they are family dogs. They have a loving, friendly, and gentle temperament and are generally great with kids. Also, they are apparently very friendly with kittens, too. Number 8. Irish Wolfhound In the past, the Irish Wolfhound was primarily bred as a courser and its role was to chase down wolves. Its role evolved from a warhound into a guarding and hunting pet. Its ancestry goes back to 7000 BC. But today, these larger-than-life hounds have been adopted as pets because of their intelligent, easygoing, quiet, and reserved nature. These dogs outdo the Great Dane when it comes to height, with their minimum height ranging from 30 inches for the females and 32 inches for the males. 
However, the males often stand 34 to 35 inches tall and weigh 140 pounds or more. To put it into a better perspective, Irish wolfhounds can be as tall as a donkey. 7. Leonberger The breed originated by mixing St. Bernard and Newfoundland breeds back in the mid-1840s. They borrow their name from Leonberg, Germany, where Heinrich Essig practiced the crossbreeding of the two dog breeds for four generations. He later on added a Pyrenean mountain dog to the equation, giving birth to the Leonberger as we know it. The dog stands at between 27 to 31 inches tall, and they often weigh about 170 pounds. They might seem smaller than other dogs on this list, but they are much larger than your average family dog. The Leon Burger's main purpose is to serve as a companion dog, but it also thrives in tracking, water rescues, and herding activities. 6. Icama Zorba Icama Zorba is an English Mastiff, and the breed is known to grow up to 30 inches in height. The dogs can also tip the scales at 250 pounds or more, and Zorba holds the Guinness World Record for the heaviest dog in the world at 343 pounds. Their size worked well for their breed in the past because they took part in blood sports, including baiting lions, bears, and bulls. However, today, the gentle giants are perfect companions with mellow and even temperaments. That makes them excellent family dogs because of their easygoing nature and a perfect go-in-between for families with kids who want either a dog or pony. Number 5. Newfoundland the Newfoundland is well known as a working dog, and unlike many other larger dog breeds, it wasn't bred as a guard dog. The muscular dogs can haul in nets and lines from fishing boats, and they can also jump in the water and fetch items that fall overboard, including people. They are exceptional swimmers, and they have taken part in several successful sea rescues. Most of the dogs stand at between 27 to 30 inches tall and weigh in at an estimated 150 pounds. Their thick double coat gives them the appearance of being even bigger than they are, and it also keeps them warm even when they are treading through icy waters. Number 4. Dope de Bordeaux Also called the Bordeaux Mastiff, Bordeaux Dog, and the French Mastiff, this breed is one of the massive ones. It might not be as famous as other French dog breeds like the French Bulldog, Great Pyrenees, Poodle, and Basset, but it's one of the country's most ancient breeds. It stands at around 23 to 27 inches tall and weighs in at between 125 to 150 pounds. It might come off as average compared to other Mastiffs, but its record-breaking massively huge head sets it apart. In fact, the Bordeaux Mastiff is said to have the largest head on any canine in relation to its body size. Their primary role was guarding homes, but they also served as cart pullers and flock watchers amongst other duties. They are energetic and active outdoors, but turn mellow indoors. 3. Hulk the Pitbull At 175 pounds, this dog's nickname is befitting because it is significantly large for a pet. Hulk can even stand on his hind legs to a towering 5 feet tall. Hulk's owners say that he's quite friendly despite his scary look. They even trust him to play around with their young son, and he is professionally trained as a guard dog. It takes four pounds of ground beef mixed with supplements, along with treats and regular dog meals to keep this dog well-fed every day. Hulk had 12 puppies last year, most of which are expected to end up being his size or even grow bigger. 2. The Great Dane, Freddy the Great Dane is amongst the recognized largest dog breeds in the world, and one named Freddy gives a vivid picture of just how huge these dogs can get. On his hind legs, Freddy stands at 7 feet 5 inches tall, which just happens to be a whole 2 feet taller than his owner. He also weighs 200 pounds, and his owner, former glamour model Claire Stone, has to spend as much as $16,000 every year to feed and care for her two Great Danes. Stone doesn't mind it, and she is devoted to caring for her Guinness World Record holder, Freddy, and his sister. While the Great Danes take the title of the world's largest dogs, they aren't the heaviest of dogs. The English Mastiffs take that spot. They also seem to trade off a longer lifespan for their size, and most only get to the six to eight year mark. Number one, Zeus the Great Dane. Much like Freddy, Zeus received a lot of press coverage and several of his photos went viral. 
The Great Dane lived in Otsiko, Michigan with his owner, and he snagged the 2012 Guinness World Record title for being the tallest dog. At that time, Zeus measured 44 inches in length from the middle of his shoulders to his feet. When standing on his hind legs, Zeus stretched up to 7 feet 4 inches. Zeus ate 30 pounds of dog food each day, and impressively, he could effortlessly help himself to some drinking water from the kitchen sink. He also served as a therapy dog and made several trips to local schools and hospitals. Unfortunately, Zeus passed away when he was just five years old, which is actually within the estimated lifespan of a Great Dane. Thanks for watching. Coming up next is Smallest Dog Breeds in the World. Chihuahuas are considered to be the smallest dog breeds in the world. These are family-friendly dogs that easily adapt to apartment living. They are very easy to groom and are very playful as well. However, Chihuahuas cannot tolerate harsh weather and are not friendly towards strangers or other dogs. They drool a lot and might have a substantial amount of shedding as well if you have the long